three workouts that you can do at an apartment gym, your home gym, or a hotel gym. Let's get to it. What is up guys, welcome to the workout commentary of the week. It's your boy Noah Banks, and you already know we're about to get into something really, really good. This workout's for apartment gyms, home gyms, gyms that don't have a lot of equipment. And I basically do, do three workouts that you can perform. They're all tri-sets where you do exercise after exercise after exercise, take a break, and then do it again, and you do that for three sets. So the first thing I start off with is a dumbbell shoulder press, really focusing on that power movement of just taking it and pressing it above us. It's a very important movement. Think about how many things you lift and put on like top of the refrigerator, for example. Now the next one I go to is the dumbbell row where I'm really focusing on pulling through with my elbows, filling it in my back, and then I go ahead and go straight into push-ups as if those dumbbells are my hands on the floor, keeping really good form, having my chest go as far down as possible, my body is parallel to the floor. You just want to make sure this is good with good form. Push-ups can be easy, but you can make them harder by being really rigid with your form. The next try set is I start off with the plate upright row, really focusing on my traps area. Remember, this is a kind of like a pull and a press movement um, workout. So after the upright rows, I go straight into the pull-ups, and you guys hear me all the time saying, pull with your elbows to fill through the back. So you're not really using more of your arm strength, you're using more of your back strength, so you get that really good V-shaped look. And then I move straight on to the dips. Now remember, if you put your chest more down, you're gonna be focusing on your chest. If you have your body more parallel, it's gonna be working on your triceps. I kind of go between both, depending. Now the last tricep is I start off my with my reverse flies. I do around 10 to 12. You don't wanna do a lot of weight with this. Really focus on those rear delts. We always focus a lot on our front ones. Now here I'm being a little bit fancy. You can just make a complicated push-up. This could be a diamond push-up, a wide push-up, an elevated push-up. These push-ups are challenging to me, so that's why I went ahead and did the one-armed push-ups. I only did five on each side, so it's not really that impressive anyway. Uh, and then the last exercise that I performed as part of that tricep was the inverted row where it's basically like you're, it's like a row that you're doing above, but now you're under it and you're doing a reverse, focusing again on your elbows to really feel it in your back. And then you finish it off now, here I'm being goofy, you know me. So anyway, you finish it off, remember, well, look guys, that's the first time I've ever seen a rock climbing wall ever in my life in a gym. So this really, I just wanted to do some type of cardio at the end of the workout where it was like five to 10, 15 minutes. So that's what you can do. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout commentary. If you have any questions of different home exercises or workouts that you can do or stuff that you may go to the gym, you wanna be a little bit more creative, feel free to email me at nobanks at embracethehype.net and I'll be happy to answer your questions and give you whatever tips I got. So if you really like this video, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll be happy to tell you more. All right, guys, you already know, embrace the hype.